if those are three things that people change, yeah, it's a good thing. Absolutely. As always, informative. Thanks, Pete. <laughs> You're welcome. See you tomorrow. Well, speaking of positive attitude, finding out what's wrong and doing something about it, that's the aim of a health program called Blue Balloon, with more on a dedicated team of specialists who are helping young people get the help they really need. Here's our Susan Hay with tonight's Making a Difference. Mm, we said it was going to be here yep. on this branch. When you're told your child has physical or developmental challenges, delays or learning disabilities, it can be overwhelming, even scary. Since 2004, Blue Balloon has provided a soft landing for children and their families, giving them options when they don't know where to turn. Blue Balloon is a facility that provides assessment and treatment to children with difficulties and challenges. What I would say is a very simple uh, difficulty, like an articulation, to a much more involved uh, situation such as autism, Down syndrome. This private pediatric health care facility has a team of highly trained and skilled therapists on hand, working together to ensure children and young adults receive appropriate assessments, therapies and support. Uh, my son Max is eight years old. He has sensory integration disorder and ADHD. I have to jump around more than other people throughout the day and Sometimes I need more help focusing. Sensory integration really is the ability for the brain to take information and organize it effectively. So sensory integration difficulties would be the inability to do that. Blue Balloon has four facilities across Ontario. Many of the programs offered are unique. It's my favorite place to be too. And they have the ability to custom tailor programs to work with the needs of each child. Why do you personally have such a passion for this organization? A couple of years ago when my nephew was three, he was having some motor difficulties, um, some sensory difficulties, had a lot of sound sensitivity. And I just saw my own family running around the city trying to navigate a very complex medical and educational system. And I knew that we needed to pull a team around him in order to really help him. I'm happy to say that, you know, he's doing great and now we're set up to also help other kids. You're uncovering another great program. There's always a family connection to a lot of these. It's kind I know, of I wanted to motivation. include that because yeah. she and her brother started this. Yeah. So it, it comes out of a lot of passion and, and love for their own. And it's private, right? It's not covered private. by OHIP. Not covered by OHIP. So the uh, services, the therapy services are not covered. However, Blue Balloon works closely with families to ensure they take advantage of the best funding sources available. Services are funded through a number of channels, including private insurance plans, charitable organizations, and government-assisted programs such as respite funding. In addition, group programs and camps are designed to keep costs down. Blue Balloon is open seven days a week and offers extended hours to meet the demands of busy family schedules. Uh, you don't need a doctor's referral and you won't wait long for an appointment. And to learn more about this tremendous organization and all the work that they do, and there are many locations here in Ontario, you can always visit globaltoronto.com and of course follow the links to making a difference. And early intervention is key right. and the right intervention is also key. Another good one. Welcome back. Thank you. Thanks, Susan. We'll take a break, but still ahead, a Jeopardy response that even had Alex Trebek doing a double take.